Hey guys, welcome back to another episode from my kitchen. Today I'm here to share a simple yet yummy raita recipe prepared with boondi. Actually if you remember I served this boondi raita with the vegetable biryani a couple of people asked me so I thought I might as well share the raita today. If you want to have a detailed video with all the tips on making perfect crispy boondi I will link it above in the i card and also give it in the description box below. But for now I'll share quickly how to make boondi. So now let's get started. Let's take a quick overview of the ingredients. All the details will be given in the description box below. Prepare the batter and make boondi as shown in the video. I know what's running in your mind. Of course, you can use store-bought boondi, but it's always better to make anything at home if it's feasible as you will know the ingredients going into it. The store-bought ones, for example, when they prepare, they use the same oil multiple times, which is not good, and when we make it at home, this doesn't happen. We obviously use fresh oil, but it does take some effort to prepare. So if you have the time, please do prepare it at home. I always believe that homemade is the best. I made some boondi for another recipe, so I'm using some for this recipe. It's not that I'm just making boondi for, you know, this raita. That's like a two much of effort. Okay, whichever boondi you're going to use, once you have the boondi on hand, it's a matter of couple of minutes to put this raita together. This raita is quite uh, rich compared to other vegetable based raitas. There are two ways to make this raita. You can soak boondi in hot water first before adding to the yogurt. This is done so that the oil from the boondi drains off and it becomes a somewhat healthy dish. However, if you're like me and like your boondi to be crisp, you can prepare like how I do it. So, that means I haven't soaked boondi in water but add it to the uh, yogurt directly just before serving. This way the boondi stays crisp and gives you a nice crunch while eating so whichever method you follow it tastes great add fresh yogurt in a mixing bowl try to avoid very sour yogurt you can also add some water to get the desired consistency Add some salt. You can also use black salt. Sprinkle some roasted cumin powder, a little chaat masala, red chili powder and some sugar. You can also add some finely chopped coriander. Alter the spices and seasonings as per your taste. Give it a good whisk and store it in the refrigerator till you serve. Just before serving, add boondi and give it a nice mix. Transfer to a serving bowl. Garnish with a pinch of red chilli powder, cumin powder and mint leaves. And your boondi raita is ready to be served. The slight tangy taste of yogurt, that crunch from the boondi and the tinge of chaat masala. You'll love everything about this simple raita. Trust me. Serve chilled with any biryani, pulao, roti or paratha. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you like this recipe, do give it a thumbs up and share it with your family and friends. And if you're here for the first time, do consider subscribing and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for new updates. That was it for today guys. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, it's me Padma signing off.